Okay, now let's look at a velocity versus time graph. In a velocity time graph, the vertical axis is how fast you're going or what your velocity is. It could go below zero, so it really is velocity. We're only going to look at positive ones now. Um, but uh, if, if you think about it, a slope on this graph, right, it, the rise of a run, the rise would be a change in velocity because this axis is velocity, and the run would be time, right? And change in velocity over time is definitely acceleration, right? So the slope on these graphs is acceleration. Okay, so, so look at this guy here, right? Um, our initial velocity is 2, the final is 4, right? Um, and it took 5 seconds to do that. Right, so we could say, you know, 4 equals 2 plus a times 5 and come up with that it's 0.4 meters per second squared, right? I'm using v equals u plus at. Okay, but we can also find the uh, slope of this thing, right? The rise of this is uh, 2, right? 2 meters per second. The run is um, 5 seconds. And so the slope is rise over run equals 2 meters per second divided by 5 seconds, right, or 0.4 meters per second every second. So slopes are accelerations. That's not a fast acceleration. Uh, that would be a faster acceleration. This would be like, ooh, look at that crazy acceleration, okay? This would be actually be a negative acceleration, right, where, where our change in velocity is negative, et cetera, et cetera, okay?